Additional cast members, a teaser trailer and a release date has now been confirmed for the new season of Netflix's The Crown. Join me today as we look at what to expect in the fourth season and final season with this cast, might I add. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Matt Rogers. A ton of the comments in my other videos covering The Crown show that a lot of people are holding out for Princess Diana to make an appearance in the hit show. Well, wait no more as we now know who will be taking on the role. And they made Diana a poignant part of the teaser as you see here. But before I get into that, I'll tell you who I've always thought would be a great actress to play Diana, Jolly Richardson. Remember the actress from 101 Dalmatians? She's obviously a bit too old now, but in the 90s they could have made her identical. Plus, she has the added bonus of being British. Just a thought, but obviously to accurately portray the Princess of Wales, they needed someone younger, and they found her in actress Emma Corrin. Now, Corrin has a pretty thin acting portfolio with not many credits to her name. She was most recently seen in the movie Misbehaviour and DC's Pennyworth, but really nothing entirely notable up to now. She definitely looks the part, and the casting directors on the show have always picked great actors previously, so I trust their judgement. I was confused at first because the producers of The Crown released an announcement saying that Diana would be played by actress Elizabeth Debicki. However, they have confirmed that this is for the final two seasons, five and six. So it looks like Corrin is just getting a short go at playing Lady Di. Debicki had this to say about joining the cast. Quote, Princess Diana's spirit, her words and her actions live in the hearts of so many. It is my true privilege and honour to be joining this masterful series, which has had me absolutely hooked from episode one. End quote. Debicki has a bit more of a fleshed out repertoire, with credits like The Great Gatsby and Guardians of the Galaxy 2, and even Christopher Nolan's new blockbuster, Tenet. But something that both actresses playing Lady Di have to strive towards is sounding like the princess. Vocal work and dialects is obviously something The Crown concentrates a lot on, but it had me thinking, as world famous as Diana is, you very rarely hear her actually talking on camera. It made me realise that I don't even really recall how she talks. Watching an interview with BBC, I realised that she has a beautifully eloquent speaking voice, which I'm looking forward to seeing emulated in the show. Take a listen. I think every strong woman in history has had to walk down a similar path, and I think it's the strength that causes the confusion and the fear. Why is she strong? Where does she get it from? Where is she taking it? Where is she going to use it? So we know that Diana will be around until season six, but I'd say this season we're probably just going to get a taste of her introduction to the royal family and the wedding, but not much more. It will surely be riveting though to see her story played out over the coming seasons. But apart from Diana, what will this season really be about? Well, we know Margaret Thatcher will be front and centre, so we can expect some back and forth due to the complicated relationship between Queen Elizabeth II and the formidable Prime Minister, who will be played by the marvellous Gillian Anderson, known for The X-Files and more recently Sex Education. Anderson had this to say about the role. Quote, I am so excited to be joining the cast and crew of The Crown and to have the opportunity to portray such a complicated and controversial woman. Thatcher was undoubtedly formidable, but I'm relishing exploring beneath the surface and dare I say falling in love with the icon who, whether loved or despised, defined an era. End quote. I for one am so excited to see these two powerhouse characters and actresses go head to head as their relationship was a constant power struggle. My previous video confirmed that Imelda Staunton will be donning the crown after season 4, which is very exciting, but we now know who will be her Philip. Jonathan Price will officially be the third actor to play Philip in the show. And you may remember him from shows such as The Two Popes and Game of Thrones. He joined Imelda in sharing his excitement, saying, Quote, I am delighted to be working with Netflix again. The positive experience I had making The Two Popes has given me the confidence to tackle the daunting prospect of portraying Prince Philip. To be doing so with Peter Morgan in the company of Imelda and Leslie will be a joy." End quote. Peter Morgan of course being the show's creator and Leslie being Leslie Manville, who's been confirmed to play Princess Margaret. Unfortunately, I have a feeling we're going to have to wait a while to actually see the new cast take their places. However, thank God we don't have to wait as long for season 4 like we did with season 3. To avoid such a long hiatus, Netflix filmed season 3 and 4 back to back, which was lucky considering the state of the world right now. The release date for season 4 is set for November 15. But what are you most looking forward to this season? The royal wedding? The intense dialogue between some of the world's most powerful women? I'd love to hear what you think, so let me know. I'll be down there in the comments. But be sure to subscribe for weekly videos covering your favourite movies and TV shows. If you subscribe during this video, then welcome aboard. And if you had a good time hanging out, then spank that like button. This is Matt Rogers, and that 
is all.